I'm like 10% done and halfway through my time limit. This is bad. I feel like my artistic side is really coming out under pressure. Oh, that's one of my pants. I have accepted the challenge of painting pictures of homeless dogs. The catch? I can't paint. The very first dog that we're gonna paint is Bellwether. Special thanks to Adobe Premiere Pro for sponsoring a portion of this video. Well, let's start with a circle. I feel like, as an artist, that's what, you know, most people start with a circle. Starting the timer. Oh, the timer. Oh, I forgot about the timer. My team has challenged me to paint each dog in 10 minutes or less, all building up to me painting my own dog, Kobe. Something you may recall in a recent video, I hired pet portrait experts to paint my dog, Kobe. And some of you in the comments were a little upset that I couldn't tell the difference between real paintings and digital paintings. So, I'm gonna put my paintbrush where my easel is. If you love dogs, subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit that like button. When I met Bellwether, I was just awestruck at her beauty. When she came into the shelter, she was covered in foxtails. I spent some time with her, and immediately she started warming up to me, because I think she just understood that, you know, I really cared about her. I was gonna share her story with all of you. I feel like I already got my eyes off center a little bit. Okay, I think that's a good enough sketch, maybe not. I don't, I don't want to sketch the whole time because it's not a drawing tutorial. I honestly, I don't know what to do. We're just going to have to go for it. But the good news is I have a color wheel. If you want to make orange, you line up yellow and red and that will give you orange. But I don't think that really matters because I basically just need brown, lighter brown and darker brown. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know what that's going to do. <laughs> let's, let's see. I'm just going to kind of get the outline going. So bad. This is really hard. I am I am focusing for sure because I'm worried that these are not gonna turn out right. Alright, so we gotta get the we gotta get the color right. Oh, that's one of my pants. I'm gonna walk out of here looking like a true painter. You'll be like, oh are you, are you a painter? You know what? Yes I am. This this is good, this is good. We're in. No, that's still she, there's definitely yellow in there. So I guess I'll just add some yellow, see what happens. I think that's actually working. Nope, that's, that's not, that's still too brown. Oh my God. I'm spending like half my time just mixing paint. So now what we're gonna do is basically just kind of do some outlining because otherwise we're gonna run out of time. That's too white, that's too white. I, me I might've messed up there. It looks like teeth. <laughs> it looks like she's got teeth. <laughs> Yeah, now she's gonna look like she has wonky teeth. Oh my goodness. This is, I screwed it up at the last minute. Gosh dang it. 30 seconds. Oh my God, 30 seconds. Okay, if I was gonna do something, what am I gonna do? Okay, I definitely, I think I'm gonna spend the time in the eye area because that is what's a little off, I think. Who came up with this idea? <laughs> How, what's, what's my time? Five, four, oh my God. What else, what else? Three. What else? Oh, I'm crazy. I froze up. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. This portion of my video is sponsored by Adobe Premiere Pro. I love it when you all reach out to me and ask me how you can get started. And I'll tell you the secret to how I got to where I am. I started small and it may not be easy at first. You may not know what you're doing. Just like I don't know what I'm doing right now when I'm painting or just like I didn't know what I was doing when I started making videos. Helping dogs are the reason that I keep making these videos, but you showing up allows me to do that. And this community has been so awesome. If you watch our videos, you'll see that I really work to focus on helping highlight that dog's story because every dog has a story. And we do that through the editing process. There are a lot of things I love about Adobe Premiere Pro, allowing me to highlight dogs that need to be adopted and go into homes as soon as possible. Motion graphic templates built right into Premiere Pro allow me and my team to do that. By setting custom themed transitions and fonts, we're able to add the adoptable dog's names and show more adoptable dogs in a fast, fun, and creative way. Premiere Pro helps you level up your content and stand out from the crowd. Step up your personal brand and add professional polish right from within Premiere Pro. If you've ever thought about getting started, right now is the time. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. I want you to go click that right now. Premiere Pro, try now. Thanks Adobe Premiere Pro for sponsoring a portion of this video. Now let's get back to painting. And here it is, my first ever painting, Bellwether. I think where I'll probably learn the most is not actually in 
doing it right now, but uh, when I read all of your comments, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure you'll have a lot of helpful, friendly, constructive criticism. Okay, the next dog that we're gonna paint, I am so excited about. You all love him, you know him. He does not love me back. Not only does he not like me, he is also afraid of me. Bugsy! Okay, I haven't started yet. Don't start the timer. Three, two, one. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's, that's the circle. Big old bat wing ears. All right, let's give him his neck because that, that thick little neck right there really, really helps. And then we'll, I think we'll cap it off with a collar. Now, let's start the painting. If you think about it, 10 minutes is a lot of time, but also not a lot of time. That was that is very deep. <laughs> Thoughts by Rocky Kanaka. Now, I know a kid about Bugsy being unfriendly, but let me tell you his story. He was actually found wandering the streets and survived out there probably for quite a while on his own, which is pretty amazing for a guy as small as him and as old as him, which means he has to be really tough. And to be that tough, you, you're likely just gonna develop some callous towards others. But I do have some really good news about Bugsy. He's been adopted. So I'm trying to go in on the lighter colors. So it started with the dark color and then on the lighter, but then I might go back to the darker colors again. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm making good time on this. What's my, what's my time? How much time do I have left? 4.55. Are you serious? I thought I had like seven minutes left. Okay, let me, hold on. Let me take a step back here. Look at the painting. Uh-oh, maybe it's not coming together as fast as I thought. Uh, I got some decisions I gotta make, but I can't spend too much time on every little detail. I gotta start working on the eyes, the tongue, the, the collar. Yeah, his tongue looks like saltwater taffy. But, have no fear. A true artist is here. Somewhere. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Two minutes. Ted, I feel like you sped up the clock on that one. Here, we'll do a half diamond right there so it looks like it's on the edge. Whoa, that's cool. I, I will tell you this, like this one's a little crooked because Bugsy's face is a little crooked. Yeah, you could you could spend hours on a painting like this just getting it right. We don't have hours though. We have a minute and a half. A minute and a half. That's actually fine because I'm I'm making some good progress on this. I'm doing something a little extra here. I think you're gonna love this. Here it is, the Bugsy reveal. I mean, not bad. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I, I pulled it together in the last minute and a half. I think this one could be the best one. But you know what? We're not done. We have some more awesome, exciting dogs. Okay, next, Leonardo. The thing about Leonardo is when Ty and I went to the shelter to pick him up, his sheep was really bad. They, they found him as a stray, but he came in, he had teeth problems, he was malnourished, and so he was just in a world of hurt because he was scared. I mean, imagine going into a shelter and you don't know what's going on and then you also can't see. Okay, I'm gonna try something a little bit different on Leonardo here. I'm gonna give myself a base. So I'm gonna kind of paint his entire outline to combat the purple and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna put the details in there. But I've gotta move fast. I only have 10 minutes and I have big ambitions on this one. We're gonna let that dry and I'm gonna paint something very special. I think everyone will really love. Yes. Okay, do you know do you know what this is yet? It's a tiny house. I'm I'm painting the tiny house that Leonardo lives in. I almost like want to make him smile, but I don't I don't want to make it untrue to, to Leonardo. And here we go, let's feather this. What's my time? Okay, all right, that's okay, I'm okay with this. Okay, we are almost out of time, but I think I have just enough time to add an element on here that will really make this stand out. I feel like my artistic side is, is really coming out under pressure. Okay, okay, I'm almost there. What's my time, what's my time? 10. No, no, ow. okay, 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 go, that's fine, that's fine. Eight, seven, Come on, we got this. Six, we got this. Five, four, three, two, Boom. Yes! You ready to see this? Different. We took a little different approach, but let me know what you think. Here we go. Tiny home, big heart. Oh, that's, 
as fitting of Leonardo. He's such a cool dog. Okay, we got more dogs to highlight. Let's do this. Okay, so this is Gumby. He's from Frosted Faces Foundation, and we did a fun video where we actually dressed dogs up in iconic fashion looks from celebrities. And so we dressed him up like Kanye, <laughs> which is awesome. Oh, his, his cute little tongue too. He's got, a, a lot of senior dogs have this, especially if they've been through things, you know? What I love about him is he's got his hoodie. I'm gonna make his hoodie actually a little bigger than, just to accentuate his, his coolness. Get all the, all the beige going here. I, th I think I can almost do most everything beige. I like this, I already feel good about this. All right, now we need to go with darker colors. Let's do our tongue. I get a smaller tongue, so we don't have to go nearly as big on, on this. Okay, let's get those eyes. Let's try to show a little bit of his personality in his eyes, because you can see, if, if you look at his eyes, he's, he's got a lot of personality in there. Wow, it does not take much black to get a darker brown. Any good artist knows that. I have some ideas, though, to really highlight this. How are we looking on time? What do we got? Two minutes. Two minutes? I, I thought I had like five minutes. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta step this up. What if Kanye sees this? He'll be like, what is, what is this crap? You know what we need? You know what we need? The feather brush. It's time to feather. Feather, feather, feather. You got a minute. A minute, I got a minute. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do here? I almost don't wanna do too much more because if I go, if I keep going at it, I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. What's my time? How much time do I have? 10 seconds. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm done. I think this one's good. If I, if I go in with something else right now, I'll mess it up. Here's the reveal. What do you guys think? Kanye West, better known as Gumby. Okay, the next one is Hazel. Now Hazel, I think we're gonna do something very special for her because she is a very special doll. Uh, I'm gonna do a completely different style here. Hazel is a Malamute and a Great Pyrenees. And the thing is, she has epilepsy. And it's really hard to get a dog adopted like that. We're gonna paint Hazel today to bring some attention to her. She is available for adoption. The thing is, it, it costs about $150 a month because she needs her meds, but she's a really sweet gal. There are a lot of great dogs out there that have certain ailments, they're special needs dogs. But you know what? They live really great lives. So I'm taking some artistic liberty here, uh, and we're gonna make it fun. It may not make sense just yet, but it, it's in it's in my head. So let's see let's see what let's see what happens here. What's my time? Five minutes. This one isn't gonna even take me ten minutes. Okay, it's, we're getting close. This is coming together. Minute thirty. I don't know if we're that close. <laughs> I, I, maybe I got a little overconfident. Oh man, we're getting close on time. Don't even need it, I'll give it back. All right, here's the final reveal of Sweet Hazel. I think it showcases her personality. It's kind of goofy, artistic, cartoon-like. It's not perfect, but I like it. Finally, my boy Kobe. We are going to paint him. Now, can I get more time on this one? No. No, no, okay, I still only have 10 minutes. Uh, but the good thing is Kobe won't, won't see it. <laughs> Kobe's blind. So, real quick with Kobe. He is a, a little over one. He is a blind dog that has uh, only half of his heart works. He's in uh, constant heart failure, so he'll never come out of heart failure. He's, it's just, he's always in it. And he probably won't make it past a couple years because his heart will just, will just fail him. He'll keep getting bigger and then his heart won't be able to keep up because it's only half of a heart. But the, the good thing about Kobe is even through all of that, like he still just is the happiest boy. He bounces around. The way that he sees the world is an inspiration to me because he doesn't view the world as a scary place, even though it very easily could be because he can't see. But outside of that, he lives every day like it is the best day in the whole world. And we try to do the same because, you know, we don't know when it could be his last day. We live every day with him as if this is the best day in the world. And you know what? Who knows? Maybe he surprises all of us and lives a long, long time. Uh, but until then, we'll take every day we've got with him. The signature Kobe is when, when he looks up with, at you, like he's actually looking at you, but, <laughs> but you can tell he's not looking at you because he's, he's not, he's like, instead of looking right at you, he's like looking like this. He's like, yeah, 
I'm looking at you, what can I help you with? All right, we gotta get all Kobe's wrinkles in. He's got, he got the, such a wrinkly head. Uh, Kobe's name came from Kobe Bryant. Ty from Reverse Rescue was, it was a very big Kobe fan. I don't, I don't know a lot of people that aren't. Kobe came to Reverse Rescue right at about the same time that uh, Kobe Bryant's helicopter went down. And it, and it wasn't too far from where Reverse Rescue is. So it made a big impact on that whole team. And uh, it seemed fitting to, to kind of name Kobe after that. Okay, what's my time? Two minutes. I wish I had like two days to do something like this because it would just be so cool. You know, I'll let you guys tell me, but I, I think I'm doing decent enough to go, hey, I, I think I want to do this some more. Okay, I say we go into my favorite brush, my feather brush. He didn't have a lot of feathering, but I want to get a lighter color. And I think I've got the time. What time? How much time? A minute. A minute? <laughs> a minute? Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, maybe I, maybe I don't. No, you know what? We'll, we will. We will figure this out. Okay, there's one more thing I want to do with his eyes. Time for a second. Ah, okay, that's okay. I can do it in time. I can do it in time. Add Five, that brown to his eyes. Four, three, two, one. Ah, I love you, Kobe. I love you, Kobe. I hope you're proud of me. Here it is. I hope you all love it. I hope you appreciate it. Here it is. What do you think? I guess the question with this one is, it's obviously not as good as some of the best ones. But is it better than some of the ones that I was kind of like, well, I don't know if this is the best. I want to help dogs with these paintings, so I'm actually going to sell these paintings. Now, I don't know if they're sale worthy, uh, but all of the proceeds will go to the actual shelter that the animal's from. So I'm going to put them on my website, rockykanaka.com. They will be for sale. You can go there and you can buy it. And again, it'll go to the shelter that the dog is at or the, the shelter that the dog came from to help that rescue. Okay, quick, go watch one of these two videos right here, and don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like this video if you love helping dogs as much as I do.